Hey everybody, Tom Flynn here and you're watching the TMI video podcast. Today I am joined by Sarah Placencia, the Assistant Director of Disbursements at Novant Health. Sarah, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, you're welcome, Tom. Thanks for having me. Of course. So I know that you came to Novant Health through an acquisition. Novant Health recently acquired New Hanover. And as part of that transition, you have been elevating the ranks. Prior to that in your career, you've held leadership roles in payroll, accounts payable, and disbursements. And I should mention that um, even prior to starting your professional career in finance, uh, you spent nearly a decade as a U.S. Marine. So thank you so much for your service. Oh, you're very welcome. In today's conversation is going to be based on an initiative that you started at New Hanover and you're bringing over to Navon Health. And it's something you're very passionate about. So I'm excited to talk about it. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the importance of moving off of paper checks? Uh, certainly. So um, my arch nemesis in the payroll and accounts payable disbursements world is a paper check. I feel like in this day and age with the ability and resources that you may have, that paper checks should really truly be your last resort. So I have a number of reasons for that. One being the timeliness and accuracy of the payment. And two is there's a lot of fraud that can happen in today's day and age with mobile banking. You don't have to present the check anymore to the bank. And so that just leaves open a a world of opportunity for someone to defraud that check. And so by moving away from a paper check towards, you know, an electronic payment, it not only provides that, that more timely payment, but it also helps safeguard your organization's funds against fraud. Well, you mentioned fraud. Um, I know that when we were prepping for this call, there was an episode or an experience from your past that inspired this project or really your passion for paper checks. Maybe you can share that. Yes. So um, when I originally took over the accounts payable department at New Hanover Regional Medical Center in 2018, we were about 50% of our payments were processed via paper check. And there was an instance when we paid our vendor via check And the vendor internally had somebody who was taking copies of those paper checks, editing them, and then trying to recash them to themselves for larger amounts. And it was caught through the positive pay process that we had initiated at New Hanover. But it kind of, you know, you stop and you ask the question, what's the root cause of this attempt to defraud our organization? And it was, well, in fact, that paper check. Had we paid that vendor uh, via an electronic payment, there wouldn't be the opportunity for them to defraud us. Um, So the vendor also, you know, rightfully did an initiative to push all of their payments to ACH, which was really helpful as well. But that got us thinking is, you know, should we be paying via paper check? Is that really the most safe and secure way to pay a vendor? And so after we did a little bit of research, we decided that as an organization, New Hanover, we were no longer going to offer paper checks as an option of a payment for accounts payable vendors. Great story. Thanks for sharing that. I think um, probably if you've been in finance long enough, everybody has Uh, some story relating to dealing with fraud. And it comes in stages. There's the thought that it could ever happen. And then there's the pattern recognition of saying, oh, this looks like it could be fraud. And then there's the pulling the thread and realizing this might be, and then the realization that it is, and then the confrontation uh, and and the correction, if you're lucky. I think uh, just rooting out even one fraudster is is certainly success, but moving off paper checks uh, brings a lot of success with it. And could you really define some of your success or your metrics uh, to this point? How do you measure what metrics have improved over time? And really, what are the benefits to your group beyond those measurements? So, you know, success for me can be defined in a number of different ways. It can be defined in the volume of the the paper checks versus actually, you know, processing, or it can be defined in the outcomes. So like I mentioned, when I first took over AP at New Hanover, we were about 50% paper check. And we most recently received some data from SpendMan saying um, in our most recent audit that our paper checks were down to around 3% of all payment processes um, that we've processed. So really, truly, that, that number speaks for itself. But more importantly is what we're doing to, one, safeguard the organization's funds, by moving vendors from paper check to 
an electronic payment, whether it's an ACH or a credit card, and then what that provides to the vendors. So to the vendors, you know, it really truly does provide a more accurate and quicker payment method. When we're processing that payment, we do process a lot of our payments either same day or next day ACH. And so the vendor has that money in their bank account that day or the next day from when we processed it. And so it really truly is we're able to pay our suppliers quicker, which means we can turn around and order more supplies quickly and make sure that, you know, the hospital is up and running in the most efficient way. And then, you know, another side of that is too that, you know, our reduction in the cost to the company for printing a paper check. We no longer have to have the special printer, the paper, or the special ink that goes into actually printing a paper check. And then I don't have to have my team on site. And so because of that, we were actually able to um, transition to a fully remote workforce for my accounts payable team, which has just been remarkable for them. They actually really love that. And so we wouldn't have been able to do that years ago when we were still, you know, 50% of our payments were paper check. Mm -hmm. uh, impressive on every level. And um, the, a couple of things to jump off. Number one is how passionate you are about it and how you have these statistics kind of at the ready. And then the other thing is, this is the um, a good idea catching fire. Like one good idea gives rise to another good idea, gives rise to another good idea, more productivity. Just to move from the decision to root out fraud, to go off paper, and then to say that all facilitates going remote or being more efficient is remarkable. Even in light of all the progress and all the success, though, you're always going to get pushback. Uh, when you propose an initiative like this. So how do you deal with it when you get pushback from, that could be from suppliers. I, I'm sure that comes up a lot. You could also get internal pushback from folks who say, hey, you can't do this or we're not ready for it. What, what are some of your strategies for managing that uh, pushback? So I always take that pushback as kind of, you know, that challenge, you know, how are we going to overcome this challenge? So um, you, you might say that's the Marine in me, but um, it, it, it really is, you know, I let my work speak for itself, especially since when we initiated this change at New Hanover, fraud was, you know, the main driver for it. How do we prevent fraud? How do we safeguard the funds of the organization? And so I was met with a lot of support from my leader as far as, you know, how do we find a solution for this? I will say when we first contacted vendors, there wasn't a lot of, you know, well-received open doors, you know, to event, tell, us telling a vendor, hey, we no longer are going to process your payments, paper check, here are your options. But with that, we, you know, created these accelerated terms. Okay, if you want to continue to be paid paper check, we're going to pay you at net 45. If you want to move to ACH, we'll pay you at net 30. And if you enroll in our credit card program, we'll pay you at net 15. So if you want your money faster, you have to take a different option besides paper check. That did drive a lot of our suppliers to move, you know, the very least ACH payments. And then, you know, we would try to recruit them onto our credit card program from there. But there were some holdouts, you know, where vendors were just saying, you know, no, we don't want to give you our banking information or no, we don't feel like that's the most secure, you know, way possible. And we would have those conversations with them. Hey, it takes time for me to print the check, put the check in the mail for the post office to come pick up the check and process it and get it to you. And then you also have to have somebody there on site that can go take that check to the bank and look at all of that, that waste and, and then that opportunity for fraud or, you know, a mishandling of it if it gets lost in the mail or something like that. And so, you know, vendors eventually saw that ACH really is the fastest and most secure way to be paid and they can get their money a lot quicker than what they would with a paper check. As far as internally, you know, we did have a couple of instances where internally people wanted to set up vendors that wanted check. And when we pushed back and said, hey, no, we don't offer check as an option anymore. There was, you know, a little bit of a internal, um, <laughs> you know, struggle with that one as well. But again, when you explain to everyone, you know, the work that goes into a paper check and how there is that potential for fraud, and you have a case where you can actually show them, hey, on this date and time, there was an attempt at fraud from a check that we processed. No one wants to be the one that kind of requests that check and has the organization defrauded. And so, 
you know, just kind of giving them those statistics and showing them that, you know, check is not as secure as what it once was, that, um, you know, people kind of support it. Um, you know, as, as you speak through this, this is definitely a tutorial on how to implement the move from paper checks across an organization, across the health system. But really, it's just more about leadership and management, like really leading from the front, having the courage of your convictions, being an advocate for what you want to get done. When you mentioned that's the uh, the Marine in you, I can see that. I can definitely <laughs> see where a lot of those skills probably came into play. How has SpendMen helped you in this process to reduce paper checks at all or, or anything related? So Spendman helped us actually a lot through the process. And we had started the initiative um, before we partnered with Spendman on our most recent recovery audit. And so we had about a year jump start on you know, starting our initiative to move everybody off of paper check. And I was really struggling with getting clear, concise data on how many payments we were processing, the accuracy of those types of payments, um, what was paper check, what was, you know, an electronic payment type, that type of thing. And when SpendMed started feeding us the data uh, from our recovery audit, and, you know, we were able to kind of internalize that and break it down, then we could focus really on you know who needed to be next what vendors did we need to reach out to next and what could we show them from you know this third party that says hey look we have more accurate payments when we pay you ACH you're paid quicker when mm -hmm. we pay you ACH there's no arguing with with the data here all the the reporting that we've got from Spendman was really helpful and then on the flip side of that we could look at which vendors you know maybe there was a problem in really have that that drive if there was a duplicate payment because a check didn't make it to a vendor on time you know we tried to process the stop payment and reissue and they received two checks eventually you know that type of situation you know we could really make the case for why it's so important to move off of that paper check with the data that spendman provided us thank you for that thanks for that feedback um, it feels great to play even a small part in the success that you've had and something tells me that this isn't your last initiative. I think you have some more work you're doing on this project, but I can tell that there's probably a few more ideas uh, floating around. So I'll be looking forward to seeing all that come to pass, of course. Oh yes, most definitely. All right, <laughs> not denying it. That, that'll be uh, the, the next uh, interview. We'll, we'll have to dive into that very soon. All right, everybody. Well, um, I really wanna thank uh, Sarah Placencia so much for her time and her insights. And once again, my name is Tom Flynn, and this has been another episode of the TMI Video Podcast.